are my students working with Adobe Spark? You are going to be creating your paper airplane in Spark using a pattern. So I've already logged in. Remember, you're logging in with Adobe Spark for Education using your full school email and your student um, password. Once you're in the home screen of Adobe Spark for this project, you're going to choose custom size. We have a lot of options. We can totally do custom, but there's some, a couple other ones. We're going to go to print and select the letter. This is a, a standard printer size and letter size we're going to be using for this project. You should have already created your airplane, designed where you're going to be putting the design for the folds and the folds and all that. Saved it to teens for grading, but also now you should that have downloaded it to your computer. Once it's downloaded to your computer, you can go to photos and upload photos and we can choose that photo in our download. I've already downloaded mine and open. So we're going to bring that template in and resize it to fill the entire page. So I'm going to bring that up, bring this down. All right. And so I'm Kind of tried to figure this out before I started the video for you all, but there might be a few things I have to figure out along the way. So we're going to, first of all, we need to kind of give ourselves these pattern, fold patterns. So let's go to our icons, and we're going to look for a dash, dashed line. We're going to find one that we like. I kind of think this one is good, so I'll choose this one. And I'm going to bring that opacity down. We want it really, um, really small. I wish we can control the size on here a little bit. Hmm, this might not work, guys. Actually, it will. We'll make it work. I'm going to bring that size down. We're going to have to make a lot of these. Wondering if this is the best option. I don't know. Let's try one other thing. All right, this one's longer, so this will work better. We'll go with this one. So I'm going to delete that first one that I had in there. And choose this one. This is a better one, so we'll go with this one. Yes. Awesome. This one will work. If you guys look, it's this option here should be in the same area. All right, so I'm rotating it around. Get it straight for our center line. I'm going to bring in that down. And I want to change the opacity, bring that opacity way down. And I'm actually going to give it really soft gray so we can barely see it. This is going to be just our fold line. All right. So I'm okay with that. But I do want to duplicate this line. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. Bring this duplicated one over here. And if you notice, this one's a lot shorter. I'm going to bring that down to where that line is. And what you're going to essentially do is for each one, you want to duplicate it and you want it to be exactly on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and just bring that over there. All right, let's duplicate again, and we're going to rotate this and get it on this angle for the next fold. Not quite rotate it correctly. Rotate it a little bit more. Size it up. All right, so this one, once again, we want to duplicate it, but we want to reflect it. So let's reflect it the other direction so we have it right on the other one over here. So basically what we're doing, we're just building out our airplane folds. Once we have all of those folds in, we can delete our background. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out so you can kind of see where we're at right now. So here are our fold lines that we want to design in. I'm going to go a little bit further, so I'm going to undo that delete. We need a couple more because we're going to design in here and down here. I'm not going to go, well, I'll go ahead and do another one. Let's go ahead and do, get that done real quick. So I'm going to do 
duplicating it, bringing that, oop, grabbed the wrong one. Come on. Come on, little guy. Put it in there. All right, let's rotate him. Get that line in there. Let's rotate just a tad. Use my arrow keys, get him up in the space he needs to be. Duplicate, reflect this one, bring it the other direction, and bring him over here. And then we're going to duplicate again, bring this one up here. Rotate it. And we're getting close. Duplicate, reflect, and you're just going to finish off your airplane. Need all these little folds in here. Get it as close and as perfect as you can. Once again, I'm duplicating and reflecting for this side. And then I think I'm only missing this one down here. So duplicate one more. Bring bring him down here and I'm gonna need to rotate him. I think I got it this way. Alright, duplicate and reflect. Bring that over to the other side and I think we might have it all. So pretty close. I did it really fast just for the sake of this video, but I want you guys to make sure you're getting it as precise as possible. So here are our folds. And I'm going to bring back that background one more time because we're going to be designing in this area, this area, this area, this area. So before uh, we actually delete that all together, I'm going to go ahead and just change the opacity down a little bit. so We can still see our template and we'll delete it in the end. Because we need to know where, which areas we're designing in and what direction. So let's go ahead. We need to add patterns. So I'm going to go two icons and just, I didn't check this before I took pictures, but let's look and see if we have any patterns in our icons. Yes, we have some awesome ones. Ooh, look at this. All right, I like it so much better than what I was working on before. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab this pattern for now. I'm going to resize it down and I'm going to make it to where I can get about two on top of, well, no, we'll just we don't want to make too many. All right, so we'll do this. I'm going to duplicate it. And then maybe for the next one, I might want to change the color a little bit. So let's go here, see what other color suggestions they have. I like it. All right, so we can go ahead and um, select both of them. So I held down Shift and duplicate both of them together. And we can just continue that pattern. So we're a little bit limited in the fact of how we can design within this area in um, Adobe Spark. So what I might want to do is I might want to hmm, let's see. I might want to copy this, duplicate this one. Bring it up here and see if I can do something with it. But maybe if I can't doesn't look like I have a <laughs> so many pop-ups. Okay. Um doesn't look like we can crop it. We can rescale it. So let's do that. That'll be fun. I'm gonna make it to where it's half the size. Add that there. And we'll duplicate it. Bring it up here. And then we'll change it color. All right, so this is our pattern on one side. So what we want to do is we want to select all of these. So I'm holding down shift and I'm clicking on each one of these little icons. We want to duplicate it, but what we want to do is we want to ref um, reflect it the other direction. <laughs> It's not letting us do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're just going to take these two and bring them over. 
and it's okay that the patterns are the same because it's going to be a fold it won't really matter if you want it to change the pattern up you can do that here and we can move these around that's up to you um, but like I said we, it is going to be folded so it doesn't really matter how that pattern looks as long as it works for the one side all right so the important thing about these arrows and knowing the direction that this is going to go so maybe we want to add some text so let's go over to our text let's add some text and let's call our plane dusty so we'll name him dusty and we've got our text in there we're going to rotate our text and remember we're paying attention to the arrows so here's the arrow right here in this section this is up so we need to make sure that we have our text going the direction so when we do our fold it is in the right direction of for us to read it so we're gonna name him dusty bring that over here and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so it's not right there we go and I might want to add a shape on there to bring it out of the text and add some buffer to it we can add a lot of buffer if we want it to, and we can even add the mass text and bring that pattern through in the back. Just make sure we have some really good contrast on here so it stands out. So this is not standing out as much as I like, so I'm going to change the opacity on that in the background. So you can do it symmetrical on both sides. You can change it up on either side. It's completely up to you and how you design your plane. Just make sure that you're designing in those areas that you're going to see. You don't want to design in these other folds because it won't have anything there. We do want to design in this one. So maybe we want to go back to our icons and patterns and maybe try something a little different so maybe we'll add this one to here so we might want to add a different type of pattern in here so we might want to go here duplicate it make it smaller and too small it doesn't want to move and I'm using my arrow keys to get it closer where I want it duplicate it one more time Small. Come on. Well, that's as small as he wants to go, so we need this one a little bit bigger. All right, so then this pattern will show up in this area, and then lastly, we have that little triangle. So maybe we want to put a triangle in that top corner. So I'm going to go with this one and size it down. Rotate it, put that triangle down there. So you design your plane how you want. Have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you do. Make sure that you're duplicating it, you're reflecting it, and then you're bringing it over to the other side. So both sides are designed. If you want it symmetrical, if you want to choose multiple objects, you can, can um, select multiple, duplicate it, and then we'll bring them over here. And we can't reflect them, so what we're going to do is we are going to unclick and then we'll just move them into place over here. And we've got our lines showing us that it's lining up really nicely. And we'll click that. So once your plane is symmetrical, you are ready to go. You are going to, we're going to duplicate this. Bring it to the other side. I am going to turn it around. Remember what side is up. Turn it over there. And once he's done, you're going to make sure you name it with your first name. 
underscore pattern. This is our pattern project. You're going to download it as a JPEG. Start the download. I also want you to download it as a PDF. So JPEG so that I immediately see it for grading. PDF is for if you want to print it and then you start your download. You're going to upload your JPEG to Teams and then class notebook, new page titled, I don't see Teams open, I don't think. You're going to go to Teams, go to your class notebook, open it up. So during this project, if you guys have a printer at home, please print your planes and I want you to fly them and I want you to have somebody measure off how far that they went. And so this is an honor system. Make sure that you are doing it, um, that you're being honest about it and uh, let me know how far they fly. I'm super excited. Print them off, take pictures of them. But for grading, you're going to go to third quarter. You're going to add a new page at the bottom and you're going to add the page and this one is going to be named pattern and you're going to insert that JPEG for grading. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see what you create.